Jill Wash. I work with Brookfield Residential, who is a premier home builder, and I am their community sales representative. So if you are looking for a home, I'm the person you would go to. I graduated high school and went to college. I ended up getting married and didn't finish college until a little later after I had my children. And, you know, I've been working at Brookfield Residential. I started off as a receptionist and worked my way through to various um, areas within our home building company. I was in customer service, which I really liked. I like to help people. I was also um, in contract admin for purchasing department, which means that I ordered uh, lots of things that would go into these beautiful homes that we were building. And then I was asked to join the sales team. So a typical day for me would be to meet with our construction staff, um, mainly our superintendent, and check the status of our homes that are being constructed. I like to keep close contact with him on you know, the trades as far as when things are being installed in the home, such as carpet, countertops, flooring, and whatnot, because I like to be able to tell my buyers the status of their home and then we can watch and make sure that it, their home is built and completed on time. Not been perfect. Um, I have made mistakes and some of my greatest mistakes have been procrastinating. Procrastinating perhaps with getting school done, you know, oh, I'll do it, oh, there's no rush, or procrastinating with studying, um, studying maybe for the real estate exam. It's just um, procrastination I think has been my largest um, mistake and it is the one with the greatest effect because we want to make sure we're always moving forward. I've never been great at math. Um, thankfully, I use math every day now, but I do use it with, with the breakdown with the help of an Excel sheet. So we do need math in the industry for sure, especially what I'm doing for sales. Um, English and writing, just communication has helped me the most as far as um, sending emails out to people that I'm talking with, grabbing buyers' attention, and also just communicating professionally. I think that writing is just a huge skill that I'm glad that I, I received from my school. The most important skills, I think, for you know, being a real estate professional in new home sales for new home building would be communication, to be able to communicate clearly and effectively. Um, also, be authentic and genuine in your communication. You don't want to be um, pitching a, a, the same sales line. You don't want to appear too salesy. You know, you just want to be more authentic because that really will help you um, as far as connecting with people and for them to open up so you can help them and help them find a home. And another huge thing for me was confidence because I've always been really kind of shy and introverted. So this has helped a lot, um, forced me out of my shell to be more confident. Sales is a huge, is very important to the building industry. Uh, you, a whole business is to find a customer and we need to be able to sell our product to a customer, which are the beautiful homes that we're building. So sales is very, very big um, to finishing off that whole cycle of construction, starting from entitling the land, building the home, and then finding a buyer. So we close it up. You need to go to school to get your real estate license. So that would be researching any real estate school online it could be. There's going to be a series of classes that will be necessary for you to take in order to register to take your real estate exam, which is a state exam. So that can take about six months or so, depending on, on how proactive you are in studying. And it is 
you know, a little pressure, <laughs> but once you take the exam, it's great. And if you pass, fabulous. But if you don't, I think there's a, you, there's a period that you can um, wait and then retake it again. Preparing to be a real estate professional or to work in a new home sales office, um, I would suggest popping into any of the various new home builders that you see, um, tour the models, and ask the salespeople, the salespeople on site, if how they enjoy their job and how they got there. And that's always a great, great to find anyone to talk with um, as far as mentoring and you could even find perhaps a mentor that way also they may connect you with someone at their company my biggest advice to students would be to continue on your path um, work hard ignore the naysayers ignore people that you know may say comments to you and just continue onward and upward because you're going to, you know, really shoot above the stars and benefit from that by focusing on your path and not listening to anyone else's opinion.